Hey, my name is Cedric, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to verify your domain on Facebook, and I'm going to show you three ways on how to do it. So first, let's start by navigating to Business Manager. So Business Manager, and now I'm just going to pick the Business Manager I want to work with and do that with today. Great, so now you should see business.facebook.com and it's probably gonna bring you to your homepage. You're gonna wanna click on this and click on business settings. And now it should bring you to this page. If for some reason you see something different, you might see a uh, business suite, then what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna scroll all the way down to the page and you'll want to revert your account back to business manager because what you're probably seeing is again business suite and not uh, business manager. So once you're in business manager again, you're gonna navigate to business settings and you're gonna scroll down to here where it says brand safety and you're gonna click on domains. Now I already have my domain verified uh, in business manager, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it. So you're gonna click on add and that's when you're gonna add your domain. And since this is an example, I'm gonna add example.com, but obviously you would add your own domain. And now once your domain has been added, if for some reason when you're entering it in, you're not seeing it there, just refresh your page and it, show, it should show up. Uh, sometimes I've seen that you add a domain and it doesn't show right away, it's just a small bug, just refresh your page. And there's three different ways of verifying your domain. There's with meta tag verification, HTML file upload, and DNS verification. Now, if you'd ask me, Cedric, which one should I be using? Well, I would recommend I use DNS verification, and I'm actually gonna start by showing you how to verify your domain via the DNS. And if for some reason for you, verifying via the DNS is not an option, I'm gonna show you the two other options so that you'll still be able to verify your domain. So DNS verification, and just, let's just take a look at the steps here. So they're saying that you need to log in into your domain register and visit the DNS record section. So let's do that. Um, and I'm using Cloudflare. So I'm gonna go into Cloudflare. I'm gonna log in. And my domain, perfect. So obviously, if you're not using Cloudflare, it's not gonna look exactly like this, but what you'll wanna find is the DNS section. So I see it right here, so it's pretty easy to find if you're using Cloudflare. But if you're using something like GoDaddy or maybe HostGator, they all have an option where you can edit the DNS. If you don't see that option anywhere in the platform you're using, just message the company and they'll be able to help you out finding the DNS section. Now. Going back to instructions here, they're saying that we need to add this TXT record in your DNS configuration. So this is actually a TXT record, and if I click it, it's gonna copy it to my clipboard, and I can go back here and add a record, and we're gonna say it's a TXT. The name, so we actually want this to be on the root. So I'm just gonna type this, and in the TTL, I can set it to auto, that's fine. And this is the content and perfect, we can hit save. If for some reason for you, you need to answer more values or more questions in order to save your TXT record, uh, just honestly, just uh, let me know in the comment section of this video and I'll just guide you through um, and what you need to add in order to create that TXT record. But for the majority of people, it's just gonna be as simple as selecting your type, your name, the TTL, you can just set it to auto and then just adding your content and then uh, you can just hit save. So I'm not gonna save it because I already have it, but this is how you would verify your domain using the DNS. And then here it's saying that you'll have to wait about 72 hours because that's how long sometimes it can take uh, your DNS to update. And then um, you just would click verify and you'll see that here is gonna say verify and it's actually gonna look like this. So it's gonna say verify. And that's how you know that your domain has been verified. So now let's go and talk about the HTML file upload. So what you need to do is download this file right here. So perfect, I've just downloaded the file. Now you're gonna wanna head over to your cPanel So I'm just getting into the cPanel of my store. So right now I'm in my cPanel and I'm gonna go into File Manager. 
If you don't have a cPanel for some reason, you only have file manager, that's fine. Just go into your file manager. And uh, now what you're gonna wanna find is public HTML. So right here, I have it. And now what we wanna do is we wanna upload the file. And I'm gonna select a file. That's the file I just downloaded. I'm gonna click okay. And perfect, if I scroll down, I'll be able to see that uh, my file has been uploaded and I'm able to verify my domain by uploading this HTML file. Now let's look at the third way of doing it, which is the meta tag verification. So now they're saying here that I need to add this uh, meta tag to the head section in the HTML of your domain homepage. So example.com. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this to copy it and I'm gonna go into my demo store for this one gonna log in and as you can see I am using WordPress but if you're using Shopify it's gonna be the same thing all you have to do is locate the head section and then paste the code so I'm gonna go to appearance theme editor okay I am now in uh, my theme editor and if I scroll down here I'm gonna want to locate uh, the header.php which is right here And if I go back to the instructions for the meta tag verification, they're saying that I need to add this meta tag on the head section in the HTML. So go here and here's the head section. If ever you're having a hard time finding it, which you really shouldn't because it's usually always going to be at the top of the file. Uh, you can always type uh, control F and then just look it up and then you'll see it's going to get highlighted. So. I'm going to put this right here, so I'm going to click space, and I put this right here, um, and then here we have our code, and I'm just going to update the file. And perfect, we have now verified our domain using the meta tag verification method. You guys, here you have it, three different ways that you can verify your domain with Facebook in Business Manager. But keep in mind that I strongly recommend that you verify your domain using the DNS verification. And the reason for doing that and not verifying your domain using the meta tag verification is the following. Let's say you decide to um, make some changes on your theme. Maybe you don't like your theme in five years from now and you decide to update your theme, right? Buy a new theme. Well, you're always gonna have to add that code back in your new theme in order to make sure that your domain stays verified. But with DNS verification, even if you change your theme, you update it to a new one, it's still gonna be in your DNS records, right? It's gonna be a TXT record. And that's not really gonna go anywhere unless you actually go in there and remove it or maybe you change your DNS provider. But that is really why I recommend you just uh, set it up with DNS verification. And then once it's set up, you can kind of just like forget about it and make as many changes as you want to your website without even worrying about uh, that meta tag uh, being gone. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we release videos just like this one every week. Bye for now.